Okay, y'all. Hi. Um, my name is Nicole Ham. for those of you guys that may not know me, but I am so blessed to say that I think I have experienced almost all of you on your mat. So thank you for showing up for yourself and allowing me to be a part of your practice this evening. Um, we're together for about 75 minutes. So let's just go ahead and get started. Child's pose. And if you weren't logged on prior, if you could just share your screen so I can see your body, there's a little icon that says start video. And that way I can really speak to what I see. And there's no pressure if you don't feel comfortable sharing your video. Just come into your breath. And in this methodology, we practice what's called ujjayi breathing. So you take a constriction in the back of your throat and begin to breathe in and out through your nostrils. Soften all of your joints and just begin to create space. And right where you are, just begin to infuse your breath, your mind with love and connection. Yeah, whatever day you had, what your week has looked like, just meet yourself on your mat with self-love enough to show compassion when you need it. And love in this practice to push yourself when you need it. And just love how you show up today. Take three more breaths right here. Maybe on your inhale, you reach your fingertips forward towards your space. And as you exhale, sink your hips down towards your heels, really settle into the stretch. Maybe you just stay right where you are and allow your day to just melt onto your mat. Take one more big breath and hold it right at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Let the air out. Come on to your hands and knees. Set up for tabletop. Stack your joints. Bring your shoulders right over your wrists and bring your hips directly over your knees. And then begin to move whatever is calling in your body right now. Maybe that's the release of the neck. Maybe it's shaking your hips side to side, left and right. On your next breath in, drop your belly. Set your gaze up at the sky cow pose. Yeah, and then let the air go. Exhale round your spine for cat. Yeah, really pull the pit of your belly in and up. And again, inhale, drop low, draw and puff your chest forward. And exhale, round the spot. And take three more rounds just like that, in and out to your breath. Beginning to create malleability in your spine. When you're complete with your final set, come into a neutral position. Yeah, make your spine as flat as possible. Press the crown of your head forward and kind of pull your tailbone back. Spinal balance. Extend your right hand towards the front of your space and then take your left hand back, left leg back, I'm sorry. Yeah, creating a, a little bit of an equilibrium test right here, right? So really pull the pit of your belly in and up. 
squeeze everything into the center line of your body and breathe. Stay right here. And then as your next breath in, draw your elbow and your knee to the center of your belly. And as you exhale, stretch out. Good, and go again, inhale, elbow to knee. Exhale, expand. One more, draw in, expand out, tabletop. Shake your hips, take a moment, reset, and take spinal balance on your opposite side. You really squeeze everything in your skin, your muscles, your bones, hug it. Breathe here. Next breath in, draw your elbow to me at the center of your body. Expand out. Draw in. Expand out. One more, pull in. Expand out. Tabletop. Take a big breath in, downward facing dog, exhale. You can pedal out your feet, your legs. Draw your shoulders into your spine, move them into your body. And take your heels straight back towards the mat beneath you. Set your gaze to one point. Walk your feet to your hands, ragdoll. Hey, Joy, welcome. Hello. Take your feet out wide. And you can bind, grabbing your elbows. You can begin to sway side to side. But I invite you, I encourage you to take a softness right here. Yeah, just allow yourself to be heavy. Allow gravity to do the work. Now drop your right hand to the center of your mat. Take your left hand high and take a little bit of a twist, ragdoll twist. Yeah, you can take a bend in your right knee. Really draw your thoracic spine in and pull your upper arm bones back. Take two more breaths, really open up right here. One more, big breath in. Exhale, twist, ragdoll. And then take the other side, bring your left hand down, right arm up, open up. Yes, stretch your toes, spread them out onto your mat. And then draw them and find your fullest expression out, really open up right here, one more big breath in. Exhale, twist, rag off. Release your bind if you have one, walk your feet together to touch. Lift up extended mountain pose, Tadasana. Spark your fingertips towards the sky. Draw your shoulders away from your ears and really tap into your true north alignment right here. Ground down through your feet. Rise up through the sides of your body. Pull your shoulders straight back. Big breath in. Draw your hands to the center of your chest. We will begin our practice with one om. Oh. Tadasana. Reach up tall. Maybe you take a tiny back bend here to kind of open up. Yeah, one more big breath. Bow forward. Set your gaze right down at your chin. And stack your hips directly over your ankles. So notice if your weight is back into your heels. Really feel the four corners of your feet. Inhale, lift up halfway. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Hug your outer shins and squeeze everything into the center line of your body. High plank. Step back, squeeze in. 
and drop your butt just a tiny inch lower. Bring it in line with your legs. Draw in, find your full expression out, and stay right here. Two more breaths. You've got this. Fill up. Exhale, low plank. Draw your elbows in towards your body. Inhale, upward facing dog. Puff your chest towards the front of your space. Lift your hips, lift your thighs off your mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Sigh it out. Step to the front of your mat. Halfway wide, bow forward. Put off in a mountain pose, and maybe you take a back bend this time. If you didn't, the last time, open up, bow forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Plant your hands high, click. Two breaths right here, skin, muscles, bones, hug, and squeeze in. Move into low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out. Step to the front of your mat. Halfway rise. Bow forward. Sit off in a mountain pose. Forward back. Halfway lift. High plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Look to the front of your mat, step off a slope. Halfway walk, bow forward. Sit off and reach up, forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga high to low. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take three blocks. Yeah, just come back, reset right here. Fill up. Let go. Lift to the front of your mat. Step walker float. Halfway rock. Bow forward. Ukatasana chair pose. Bend your knees, sink your weight down and back. Yeah, and I forgot, like, I have glasses on. Like, let me put these on so I can really see your ukatasana. And notice, if you're in default, I invite you, take yourself to your edge. Squeeze everything and rotate your thighs. Hug your outer shins. Breathe. Bow forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right side warrior one. Yeah, right foot, right wrist, and then spin that back heel to the earth. Spark your fingertips up to the sky and sink deep into your front lunge. Yeah, and the best part about this is that I know almost all of you, so you, Carrie Lynn, Sharif, Stacy, go deeper. Bring your thigh parallel over your mat. Draw your lower ribs and expand through your mid-back. Fill up. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Use your breath wide as you inhale. And really tap into your feet. So ground down into the four corners of your feet. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. And on this side, notice if you can go deeper. Yeah, Sean, you've got that too. So go ahead and make that lunge a little bit deeper. Hold yourself to the fire. Be in the work. One more breath. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Let it go. Look to the front of your mat, step off or float. Halfway lift, bow forward. Ukatasana. And right here, take your chair four inches deeper than the chair you just took. 
Yeah, there's always room for play, for discovery, to work your edge, so go there next. From your skin to your muscles to your bones, hug and stay in. Fold forward. Halfway wide, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Right side, warrior one. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, left side, warrior one. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look to the front of your mat. Go there now. Halfway lift. Bow forward. Chair pose. Just one breath. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, right side, warrior one, move and breathe. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side, warrior one. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, breath in, breath out. Step walk or float to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Bow forward. Chair pose. One breath. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side. Warrior one. And just notice if you're on your right or left. Chaturanga. <laughs> yeah, upward facing dog. Downward. Facing dog, opposite side, warrior one. Default is a hell of a drug, right? Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Ha. I love the moments of my life, of my practice, where I catch myself doing something different. Whether it's the teacher has called it or I just decided to try it. Like loving the work and loving the discovery. And I invite that for you here. Take a big breath in. Let the air out. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Lift your right leg up to the sky. Bend your knee, open up your hip, three legs up. Yeah, really create a juicy bend in your top leg and flex your toes towards your face and really open up that hip flexor. Yeah, and while you're here, you might just move so far over, you flip your dog. Yeah, or maybe you even move into wheel. Embrace where you are right now. Love where you are right now and stay. Take two more breaths right here. Wherever you are, ground your feet, lift your hips up. High plank. Side plank on your right. Stand on your right hand. Lift your left up. Yeah, that's great, Carolyn. Like whatever that side plank needs to be for you today. Maybe that's your forearm or your knee. Lift your hips up, pull the pit of your belly in and up, and then begin to expand from the inside out, whatever that looks like for you. Maybe it's staying right here, lifting that leg, breathing in deeper. Crescent lunge. Come into high plank and then step that right foot through. Yeah, just like that. There's no room for error. Whatever it looks like is perfect. Take your time to really set this up. Notice if you need to bring up more a wideness to your stance. Zip the back leg up. Really press your knee towards the sky. Draw your hands to the center of your chest. And twist to your right. You can bring your left elbow to your right knee. 
You can extend your left hand to the front and your right to the back for an open twist. We've got five breaths right here. As you inhale, get long through the spine. And as you exhale, twist from the mid-back. Yeah, Amy, that's right. If you want to open up your arms, go there now. If you want to bind, go. You've got two more breaths right here to love wherever you are to explore what you need to explore. Take one more breath. Crescent lunge. Yeah, right back where we started. Stay right there. One more breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Left leg goes high, three leg dog. Bend your knee, open up. Yeah, really make this side as open as you made the right side feel. And then maybe you decide where you go. If you flip your dog, bring your big toes to face 12 o'clock. And then really set your gaze at your thumb and pull it forward to the front of your space and maybe you see wheel. Yeah, and if you don't, that's okay too, but be in the play right here. Take one more breath. High plank. Side plank on your left. Hug your outer shin bent. Stack your shoulders. And you've got two breaths right here, so maybe you lift that top leg. Breathe in deeper, engage so you're tighter, and then allow yourself to just get lighter right here. Open up. Crescent lunge, move through high plank, left foot to the front of your mat. Stack your back heel over the balls of your back big toe. Zip your back leg up towards the sky. Draw your hands to the center of your chest. Twist to the left. Open twist or elbow to knee. Take what you need. Ground down the four corners of your feet and you've got the same five breaths right here. Draw your thoracic spine and move your upper arm bones back. Draw and find your fullest expression out, take a big breath in. Exhale, twist, open. Crescent lunge. Yeah, you've got this. You can stay just one more breath, fill up. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Three breaths, reset. And take a big breath in. Open your mouth, let the air out, big sigh. <sighs> Set your gaze at the top of your mat, step off the float. Halfway rock, bow forward, chair pose. And just take a minute, a moment to really love this chair. It's your chair, you get to be in this chair. Draw your hands to the center of your chest and take a twist to the right. Right elbow, I'm sorry, left elbow, right knee. Or take your open twist. Five breaths right here. Take a moment, look at your knees, bring them in line with one another. For me, whatever side I'm not twisting wants to poke out. Yeah, and the side curls there, go for it. If opening your arms is there, go for it. Binding, go now. Expand from the inside out. And guess what? You have two more breaths. Plus, breathe. That's it, Sharif. Lift up and gaze. Rad, tall, great work. God, y'all are so inspiring. Fingers to toes, forward fold. Grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Pull your chest towards your thighs. And drop the crown of your head and lift your tailbone tall.
Inhale, rise halfway. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Fold. Release your feet. Bring them to touch. Chair pose. Draw your hands to the center of your chest. Twist to the left or your opposite side, <laughs> whichever that is. And for me, I don't love my left as much as I love my right, but I invite you right here, give it a little bit more love. Give it the same love you did the other side. And then go into your fullest expression right here. Sharif, do it on the other side. Amy, really open up. Amy and friend, open up. Draw your thoracic spine and pull your upper arm bones back. Take one more big breath in. Twist open. Wag off. Gorilla. Bring your palms underneath your feet. Far enough to where your um, toes can touch the creases of your wrist. And I invite you to soften your joints. For me, I need to bend my knees a lot here. Show yourself a little compassion. Rise up halfway. Fold forward. Halfway rise. Fold. Release your feet, plant your hands. And let's just have a little bit of like yogi playtime right here. So take a couple of inversions. You can do a couple of frog hops. Yeah, dog, grab that feet up, go. Maybe you play with crow, headstand, handstand. Take 10 breaths to just really play. Yeah, you Scott, just bring the weight into your hands, Jordan and everybody. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Yeah, Jordan, go ahead and shoot that chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing dog. And you've got five more breaths. If you worked one side, do the other. That's it, Carrie Lynn, go. Breathe right here. Joy, I can't see you, but I know you better be upside down right now. Take two more breaths. You've got this. Just play. See what shows up. Chaturanga Jordan or anybody else in Crow. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Come into child's pose. Yeah, all those happy endorphins have made their way. The serotonin levels in your brain have dramatically increased. So just let that settle. Three more breaths. Fill your lungs up. Downward facing dog. Look to the front of your mat, step walk or flip. Halfway lift, bow forward. Tadasana mountain pose. Standing leg raise. Bring your right knee in line with your right hip. Flex your toes towards your face. And take your arms where you are able to create the most stability in your body. For me, it's low mountain. For you, it might be high mountain, grabbing your knee or your toe. Draw your shoulder blades and move them into your body. Ground down into both feet and take three breaths. Yes, yeah, Stacey, if you want to open up, go. Steady your gaze. Come back into the rhythm of your breath. If you're out to the side, make your way back to center. Extend your leg out in front. Fly back airplane. Reach your foot and all ten fingertips to the back of your space. 
And then really engage your triceps and biceps. Activate those muscles and pull them into your body. And then lift your chest up. Take a micro bend in the standing knee. And breathe. Yeah, right here is about the time in my practice where I start losing track of my breath. I invite you, if that's you, just come back. Draw your hands to the center of your chest. Half moon. If you have a block or even a water bottle to bring the earth closer to you, I invite that for you. And then just stack your right pelvic half over your left and really reach your top arm high. And you've got three breaths right here, so maybe you take sugar cane, grabbing your ankle. Maybe you play with lifting your bottom hand off the earth. Really draw in and find your full expression out. One more big breath. Rag off. Pound out your thighs, release your neck. Release your binds, bring your feet back to touch, rise up, mountain pose. And take standing leg raise on your left side. Left knee to hip height, flex your foot. Set your shoulders over your hips. Don't lean too far forward or too far back. Yeah, allow yourself to experience stability and equanimity right here. And if you want to open up to the side, you can go there now. Steady your gaze. Use your breath. Make your way back to the center. Extend your leg out. Fly back airplane. Square your hip. Dial your pinky toe towards your mat. And then really puff your chest out. Yeah, draw your upper arm bones back, shoulders down. Squeeze in to the midline. Hands to your heart center, half moon. And again, I invite you to use a prop, a block, a water bottle, your dog, <laughs> if that's fair for you. Back your joints and just really begin to open up. And if you come out, just get right back in. Show yourself a little love, a little compassion right here. Take two more breaths. Try that sugar cane on. Lift that arm. Breathe right here. Rag jaw. Pound out your thighs. Reset. Shake it out. Whatever you need. Release your binds, toe heel your feet to touch, rise all the way up, mountain pose. Draw your hands to the center of your chest and set up for tree. Bring your right foot to the inside of your left leg, any point that's not your knee. Ankle, shin, inner thigh. And take five breaths right here. And then those five breaths at any point, if you want to expand, go. Whatever expansion looks like for you. Take one more breath. Tadasana. Tree on your opposite side. Hands to heart center, set yourself up. Side breath. And I invite you to become as engaged in your upper body as you are in your lower body. Really press your palms together, draw your shoulders back.
and just expand from the inside out. One more big breath, mountain pose. Take a big breath in, exhale, bow forward. Halfway lift, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Open into warrior two. Set your gaze over your right middle finger. And again, I invite you lunge deeper into your front leg. Press your front knee over towards your pinky toe. Draw your shoulder blades and move them into your body. Straighten your front leg. Triangle. Reach out and down towards your front foot. And again, a prop is great here, that block, that water bottle. Set your gaze at your top thumb. Really get into your feet, ground down and get light in your bottom hand. Lift the front of your pelvis up and then pull your tailbone down towards your back heel. Take a big breath in, get long. And exhale, twist from the mid back. Big breath in, exhale, twist open, warrior two. Straighten your front lat, bring all ten toes to the left side of your space, spark your fingertips up to the sky, forward fold. Bring your hands in line with your feet. And if you are working an inversion tripod headstand, I invite you to go there now. We've got five breaths. If you're not going upside down, work pulling the crown of your head towards the floor and lifting your tailbone up. Soften your joints as much as you need to right here. Wherever you are, really pull the pit of your belly in and up, press it towards your spine. If you're not upside down, rise up halfway, fill up. Bow forward. Halfway lift. Fold. If you're upside down, make your way back into your straddle on your mat. Everyone draw your hands to your hips using your core. Rise all the way up to standing. Bring your front foot to 12 o'clock. Step your back foot in about halfway. Front facing forward fold. So square your, the front side of your body to the front of your space and bow forward over your front left. Draw your chin towards your shin. And if you have tight hamstrings or need a little bit of ease right here, I invite you to bend your front knee or lift your back heel up off the earth. Inhale, rise halfway. Bow forward. Halfway lift. Fold. Halfway rise. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Open, warrior two. Get in to your legs, pull the pit of your belly in and up. Back your shoulders over your hips and then really lean and stacy and everybody go. Now straighten the front leg, take triangle pose. Set your gaze up. Yeah, and you don't have to reach all the way down to the earth. Wherever you are is perfect, but breathe. On your inhale, find length. And as you exhale, really rinse open. That's it, Renee. Fill up. Twist. 
One more big breath in. Twist to open. Warrior two. Straighten the front left. All ten toes to the opposite side. Take yourself into a bind. Maybe you grab your hands or your elbows. Fill up. Fold forward with your bind. Yeah, let gravity do the work here. If you have a towel or a strap or a bell or something, you can use that as an assist. Stack your hips over your ankle. So notice if your weight is back into your heels, feel the four corners of your feet. That's it, Amy, breathe. Inhale, rise halfway. Fold forward. Halfway rise. Fold. Use your core and your legs mindfully rise all the way up to standing. Keeping your bind set up for your front facing forward fold. Front foot to 12 o'clock. Step your back bend in about halfway. Back. Square your hips to face the mat. And press your inner ankles back, your outer ankles down. Feel all of your foot. Yeah, Amy, friend, you're perfect right there. Just breathe. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Halfway rock. Fold. Halfway lift. Release your bind, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, let go. Come in to high plank. And just breathe and stay 60 seconds. If you need to bring your knees to the earth, you can do that, but try to step. Squeeze everything into the center line of your body. Press the earth away from you. Yeah, you've got this. Know that you can stay in this minute. Breathe right here. From your skin to your muscles to your bones, hug it in. You are halfway there. Breathe. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Drop your butt down. You've got this. You've got 15 seconds. Stay right here with me. I've got you. You've got you. Everyone on this call has got you. So stay right here, right now. 10 seconds left. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Lower to your mat. Great work. Rest onto your favorite cheek. Allow yourself to just soften into the mat. Switch cheeks if you haven't already. Show some love to the other side. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth, let the air out. Bring your forehead to the center of the mat. Locust pose. Lift your chest, your arms, your legs off the earth. Squeeze everything into the center line of your body. Squeeze your butt. Rotate your thighs in towards one another. Puff your chest out. Breathe. Lower down. Take your knees side to side. Release the lower back. And then go. Again, locust pose. Lift up. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Tuck your chin so you can stay in line all through the base of your spine to the crown of your head. Engage every single muscle in your body. And then lower down. Take your knees side to side. 
And third time is the charm locust pose. Lift up. You've got the spinal locust. Where can you expand from the inside out? Draw in and find your fullest expression right here, right now. Sean and everybody lift up higher. Lower down. Take your knees side to side. Bow pose. Grab your shins behind you. And then press your legs to the back of your space and then engage the lower back muscles to pull your chest forward. That's it. The action is in your legs. So pull them straight back and then draw your sternum forward. Big breath in. Come down. Take your knees side to side. Bow pose. Grab your shins. Lift up. Final bow. Squeeze and draw everything into the center. Flex your hands, your feet, your core. Lift up. Stay here. Lower down. Take your knees side to side. And flip over onto your back. And set up a bridge. Just one bridge. Ground your feet into the earth. Pull your heels in just enough to where you can touch them with your fingertips. Set your gaze at the sky or the ceiling, whatever's at the top of your space, and lift your hips up. Now draw your shoulder blades and move them into your body. Pull the pit of your belly in and up right here. You've got this. Really squeeze your butt. Stay right here, press up even higher. One more breath, lower down. Take your knees side to side. And just like that, you're ready. Six wheels, let's go. Plant your hands by your head. Lift up off the earth. If wheel is not in your practice, take another bridge, but just see what's possible here. That's it. Ground down into the hands and feet. Chin to chest, come down. Take your knees side to side. Number two, lift up, let's go. Yeah, pull your chest forward. Yeah, and if you want to play, you can play. Lift that leg, lift that arm, breathe. Come down. Take your knees side to side. Yeah, and if you just want to stay up the entire time, you can do that too. Number three, wheel, lift up, go now. You've got this. Skin, muscles, bones, hug in, breathe in, lift up. Chin to chest, come down. Take your knees side to side. Number four, lift up. You've got this. Yeah, press into your hands. That's it, Jordan. Breathe right there. And then see if you can tuck your chest out even further. Come down. Take your knees side to side. Number five, go now. Press up, lift up. That's it. Breathe, Carrie. Like maybe you walk your hands to your feet. That's it. Yeah, be in discovery. Be in the know right here. Chin to chest, come down. Take your knees side to side. And guys, this is it. Number six. Lift up your final wheel of this practice. We're all here. We're all in this together. Five breaths. You've got this. Expand from the inside out. If you come out, get right back in. Stay and breathe. Two more breaths. Final big breath in. Chin to chest. Come down. Great work. Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together, one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Just take a moment to acknowledge yourself. 
to love on yourself right here. To love on the others in this practice with you that you may not be with physically, but you're still in the work. Happy baby. Grab your feet, pull your knees down. You can rock side to side. Maybe you open up your legs into a straddle. Sometimes I play with keeping one knee bent and extending out the other. Like just take a couple breaths right here. Hug your knees into your chest. Lift your legs straight up towards the sky. You can bring your hands underneath your sacrum for lower back support. Go ahead and lower your legs a third of the way down. Yeah, notice if your third looks more like 60, like just a third, mm -hmm, right there. And then go to 60. Yeah, where you start to kind of feel that quiver in your lower abdominals and just stay right there. And then lower your legs to a hover. Set your gaze at your toes. Flex your feet towards your face. Breathe. Press your belly button in towards your spine. Lift all the way up to 90. Lower 30. 30 more. To a hover. Back to 90. Lower 30. 30 more to a hover, back to 90. Lower 30, 30 more, to a hover, all the way up to 90. Hug your knees into your chest, rock and roll, come into boot. Yeah, creating stability on your sits bones. And take your expression of boat, what you need. Maybe that's legs extended straight out. Maybe that's supporting your hamstrings behind you. Draw your chest towards your left. Pull the pit of your belly in and up. Then lower your boat. And just hang out in low boat. And then lift back up into high. Use your core. Back into low. High boat, low boat, high boat, two more, low boat, high boat, low boat, high boat, stay, draw your shoulder blades and move them into your body, breathe right here, lower all the way onto your spine. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock and roll a couple times. Make your way into downward facing dog. However you get there is perfect. If you vinyasa through, you step through. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Lift your right leg up to the sky. Bend your knee. Open up your hips. Take half pigeon. Bring your right knee to your right wrist and then sink your hips down to the earth. And if you have a prop, um, a block or even a pillow to bring support underneath your right hip, you have that option. And then begin to fold forward and just surrender to the release right here. One thing that I've discovered during this quarantine for myself is that I have a tendency to produce from an empty cup. And I've realized that just by having time and space to really sit with myself, 
I'm able to dive deeper into my connections and my relationships with other people. And I know for a fact that the love and care that I show myself is ultimately what I want others to feel from me. And to do that, sometimes it's just a matter of letting go and allowing yourself to be filled. Loving yourself enough to stay present to what you need. To stay present to how you're feeling, what you're experiencing. Even when it's hard. Right here, I invite you to just stay with. Allow yourself to release so you can have open spaces for new things, better things, things that you need and love. Take two more breaths right here. Big breath in. Let the air out. Walk your hands to your hips. Downward facing dog. You can pedal out your legs, reset your hips. And then bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Lift your left leg up to the sky, bend your knee, open up your hips. Half pigeon. Set yourself up, take your time, and then mindfully begin to surrender. And right here, you have another side, another opportunity to love yourself enough to stay. To love yourself enough to be for you and nothing else in this moment. Soften your joints and just breathe. And if anything shows up for you, love yourself enough to breathe through it. Love yourself enough to just be in the experience. Four more breaths. One more big breath in. Let the air go. Walk your hands back to your hips. Downward facing dog. And then make your way into frog. Yeah, and if maybe this is your first time doing frog, you're going to set yourself up onto your mat to where your knees are at a 90 degree angle and flex your feet toward your face. And then gently and mindfully to what you need fold forward to the earth. If you have a pillow or a bolster or a block to place underneath your chest, you can do that. Just breathe right here. Press your hips back towards your feet. And 
Notice if you're beginning to dip a little bit in the low back, really pull the front of your pelvis up and then pull your tailbone down. Yeah, and then just allow yourself to let go. You owe it to yourself to let go. Let go so you can refill your cup with something new. Five more breaths right here. You've got this. Use your breath to just stay. One more big breath in. Exhale out. Mindfully come onto your belly. Extend your legs out behind you and just take a moment to reset your hips. And then when you're ready, make your way onto your mat, seated, extend both legs out in front of you. Single seated leg extension. Pull your right foot into your left leg. Ground down your sits bones. Get tall in your spine. Fill up. And fold forward, leading with your ribs. And if you touch your foot, great. If you don't, great. Like allow your hands to just fall where they may. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Halfway lift, fold forward. Halfway lift, fold. Halfway lift, bow forward. Come all the way up to seated. Take single seated leg extension on your opposite side. Ground down your sits bones, fill your lungs straight in your spine. Fold forward. Press your bent knee down towards the earth beneath you. Soften your joints. Just really allow your body to feel the stretch. Halfway lift. Bow forward. Halfway lift. Fold. Halfway left. Bow forward. Come all the way to seated. Extend both legs out in front of you. Seated forward fold. Take a big breath in. Fold forward over both of your legs. Flex your toes towards your face. Just breathe. Allow yourself to just be in the experience right here. Halfway rock. Fold. Halfway lift. Bow. Come up to seated. Make your way onto your spine. Set up for a waterfall. Bring a block or a pillow or a bolster underneath your hip. If you want more, shoulder stand is available for you, traditional headstand, handstand. But take something rejuvenative for your body. And what's on your body and what your body needs might be different from the person next to you in your little Zoom box. If you're in shoulder stand, you can make your way into plow, supporting the lower back as you reach your toes to the earth behind you. And from plow, you can make your way into death man's pose, bending your knees. If you're in waterfall, maybe you take your fingertips up towards your feet and allow the blood to drain from your upper body. From death man's, make your way back into plow. 
If you're upside down, make your way into child's pose. From plow, back up into shoulder stand, one leg at a time. And then everyone make your way onto your back. Supine twist. Pull your right knee into your chest and drop it over your left side body. Bring your arms out to a T position and look over your right hand. Yeah, driving your right shoulder into the mat. Allowing each breath to bring you deeper. Come back to center. And then switch your legs, two time twist on the opposite side. Hug your left knee in, drop it over your right side. Allow gravity to melt you into the floor. Make your way back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Hug everything in. And then take a big breath and hold it at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Shavasana. Final breath. Take up space onto your mat. I'd like to read a passage from Journey into the Heart by Melody Beattie. Cherish your heart. A woman I met in Washington gave me a gift. It was a beautiful heart sculpted by her son, an artist. It was a mosaic of broken pieces, a heart covered with break lines that had healed over and mended together. My son made this, she said. I want you to have it. I thanked her for the gift. Now I keep it close. It's a reminder to keep my heart open. Keep your heart open. Take care lest life's problems shut you down. When you close down your passion, your enthusiasm, your faith, and zest will disappear. Open your heart to all you meet. If it's not safe, you'll know. But don't close your heart. Simply move in another direction. Don't worry about getting your heart broken. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it's the price you pay for opening your heart for taking the risk. But if it does happen, you can allow your heart to heal and then open it once again. Remember the sculpture. Let it remind you that once healed, a broken heart is a beautiful work of art.
Take a deep breath in. Let the air out. Gently and mindfully begin to bring movement back into your body. Maybe you wiggle, wiggle your fingers, your toes. Release your neck and your wrist. Hug your knees into your chest. And then roll onto your right side into a fetal position. Yeah, taking a moment and allowing yourself to just absorb your practice. With your eyes closed, come to seated at the top of your mat. Draw your hands to the center of your chest. And we will seal our practice the same way that we began. One ohm. Fill up. Oh. Bring your thumb knuckles to forehead center. Together we bow. Namaste. Great work, you guys. Um, thank you so much for meeting me on your mat this evening. Um, we have a couple of studio announcements. Um, Barefoot Boot Camp is a um, eight day high intensity total body workout that Lee and Amber are doing. So you meet virtually every day, four to five. But if you can't make that time slot, they do record and we'll have it posted on a, a, a private page that you can get access to. So um, it's 49 bucks um, just to kind of bring something else into your exercise routine other than yoga, if that's something you're interested in. And then also Inversion Immersion is gonna be this Saturday. So this Saturday, April 25th, Leah and Amber will be leading a class that basically breaks down getting upside down. Like what's safe entry, what's safe exit, what muscle should I be using to create the stability and alignment? And they're really just gonna take their time and break down different postures such as crow and um, running man and tripod headstand. So if that's something that piques your interest that you're interested in, I invite you to join them. Um, it's $25 and it's from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. via Zoom. So in the comfort of your own home, you can fall on your face. You have all the pillows in the world to support you. So like you've got that. If something wants you to take a risk and do that, please come. Um, other than that, please just stay in touch with us. Um, I hope that all of you and all of your families are doing well and that's what we've got going on. So please continue to stay safe. And if there's anything that you can think of that Embody can offer you, please let us know. Um, once again, my name's Nicole, and thank you so much. I hope you guys have a really awesome rest of your week. It's Thursday, day, week. I don't even know what day it is anymore. I've been in quarantine so long. But you guys have a good one. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Carrie Lynn, I love you. So happy to see you. Bye, y'all. Renee, I'll see you at, at um, home. <laughs> Around. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Goodness gracious. Hey, girl! Why you got your hoops in during yoga? I can't hear you. I just put them back in. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had them out. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go try to get our cupcakes. Bye. Okay.